Crowther actually started as a book collector when he was a very young boy. His, um, his father, Edward Lodowick Crowther, brought home to him one of the great treasures of the collection, a little book called The Hermit in Van Diemen's Land by Henry Savory, of which only about seven copies are known. And one of Edward Lodowick Crowther's patients had given it to him, so he handed it on to his, handed it on to his son. When he came back from the war in 1919, he started collecting seriously. And he was interested in Tasmanian history. He was interested in some special subjects as well. He was particularly interested in or developed an interest in whaling, partly because of his grandfather's influence. He was interested in seafaring. He was interested in medical history for obvious reasons. His, uh, he was a, a fourth generation medical practitioner. He was interested in Samuel Johnson and James Boswell. He was interested in documenting the actual activity of book collecting. So he collected books about book collecting. And he always claimed he didn't have very much money to spend on his books, but when you see his accounts, you can see that he was spending very large amounts of money on his books. But he wasn't always concerned about their condition because he was also a, 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 an historian. He wrote a lot of historical articles um, on all sorts of things, he, especially his favourite subjects such as medical history and whaling history and his family. But if he bought a book that happened to have the frontispiece missing or another page missing, he would simply write off to the Mitchell Library and say, can you give me a photographic copy of this size and I'll stick it in the book that I've got. So although there are some very beautiful and very rare things in his collection, there are also things that are not in the best of condition, but very, very often the things in his collection have a very interesting story behind them.